What do you think of when you think of old classic harem anime and manga series? For most people, the answer would probably be pretty simple, Love Hina. However, for me, I always come back to the series Ai Yori Aoshi. To this day, I have not seen or read Love Hina. However, I have for Ai Yori Aoshi. Now, I've heard from Love Hina fans, the series hasn't really aged all that well and that if you try to get into it today, it'll be pretty hard. However, when it comes to Ayori Aoshi, I would say that this series has aged phenomenally. Sure, there are definitely some moments in the series that would never fly in today's anime and manga market, but those moments are far more rare than one would imagine. Ayori Aoshi is a pretty simple love story about two people having to hide their relationship from the people around them, which of course causes all the antics in this series for the coming chapters. Although the series primarily focuses on comedy, there are a lot of serious moments in this series that can get really emotional and get you to want to read this series more and more. As you get further into the series, you start to realize that this series has made you also feel like you're a big part of this group. They live as one giant happy family in this house, and this series somehow finds a way to make you feel like you're a part of that as well. One thing I learned as a fun fact about this series that I didn't know before was that this series was published in the same magazine as Berserk. That to me is really funny because you can get your fix of a badass swordsman going through insane things to then read a romance comedy manga. I find that contrast to be funny, but I guess that's how most magazines are. Ayori Yaoshi is a series that I can still recommend to this day, however, if you're looking to read the manga and only read it physically, then I would warn you that some of the volumes are extremely hard to find and can sometimes go upwards of $200. But the series does have an anime that covers pretty much the entirety of the manga, however, it does change a few things to make the series a little bit more lighthearted. But either way, this series is fantastic and is one that I highly recommend, especially if you like classic harem anime and manga, and have never read this series. I would like to go more in depth on this series from here on out, talking about the characters and other things to really sell this manga to you guys. But before that, it would be awesome if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I make new anime and manga content every single week. Now, let's talk about the characters in this series. They're amazing. They all feel like real friends, and it actually makes a lot of sense why all the girls would fall in love with the main character. He's a nice guy who is extremely hardworking, plus you know he'll always have your back, which is nice. Besides him though, the other characters are also great. The two best characters in this series are for sure Aoi and Tina. Both of their story arcs are incredible, plus they never have any annoying moments throughout the series like some of the other characters. Both of them are just great. I want to start talking about Tina first though. She is a pretty unique character as she was the only foreigner in the entire series, which gives her some really interesting interactions with the characters around her. She is a very charismatic and funny person throughout most of the series, but what I love is that all of that is just a front for who she really is, and that shift is really awesome. She never loses that fun side to her, but once you learn the truth, you can see her actions in a new light, which I really love. Now, let's talk about Aoi. She is literally the most important character in the series. Without her, the story can't go on. But throughout the series, we see her go through a lot of development as a person. At the beginning of the series, she is a shy girl who is ignorant of the world around her and scared for the future. However, as we get further into the series, we start to learn more about her and who she is, and we realize that what we saw initially isn't all she has to offer. She's a very stubborn person who gets easily jealous of the other girls while also being extremely kind and hardworking. But what I love the most is that by the end of the series, she is no longer scared of the future. She has this determination to get what she wants no matter the cost, which is one of the things that I absolutely love about her character. The other girls in the harem are all kind of just flat characters that are used more for comedy than anything else, but I think that they work quite well with the role in mind. Each one of them has a unique and interesting personality that sets them apart from everyone else and makes the character interactions really fun and awesome to see throughout the series. The setting of the series is actually great. It takes place in Japan, obviously. However, most of the big events happen at either the college that everyone attends or the giant mansion they all live in. Plus, for the people experiencing this in the modern lands, it takes place over 20 years ago, so we don't get to see the characters have cell phones or do anything that we would expect some people to do nowadays. This setting makes the series work a lot better though, as it helps us to learn about the characters and who they are even if it's only in subtle ways. There are moments throughout the series where you can start to see interesting things about the characters that happen because of the location they are in. Because of what the setting is, it enhances the series a whole hell of a lot. Plus, the series taking place in college sets us apart from like 90% of the other series in the same genre, which is awesome. The art in this series is really good. I like the way all the character designs look. It really reflects the type of person each of the characters are. The paneling is also great and makes it really easy to follow the flow of the series without getting confused on where to read next. The art is so good that the more emotional moments really hit hard and make it really hard to read sometimes because of the emotions you'll feel when going through the story. The art is pretty dated in a style sense, but the art itself is still really good and I think it holds up quite well. Ah 
My Yuri Aoshi is a classic harem manga series that I don't think a lot of people really know about, but for those of us who do know about it, we know just how good this series really is. This series has a really good story that still holds up today, with awesome characters that you grow to love as the series progresses, as well as awesome art that looks pretty good. Overall, I would say that if you're looking for a good, funny rom-com series with some slightly darker moments that is more mature than your average series of the same vein, then I recommend giving this series a shot.